we emerge near Budapest's Great Indoor Market Hall, another souvenir from the party of 1896. The ground floor is a commotion of produce stands, butcher stalls, peppers and spices. Oh, there's paprika everywhere. Oh, the whole market has it. In fact, it's a dominant spice in our cuisine. You take the uh, dried pepper mm -hmm. and then you grind it and then you would get the powder from the box. There's different types. There's hot and sweet. That's sweet. Mm, sweet. As in markets all over Europe, the fragrance stalls are kept downstairs. Tanks of carp, catfish and perch, and piles of pickles. You want to try some? Yeah. Oh, oh that's no. my favorite, Rick. Okay. So there's a plate of pickled peppers here. Look at this. Now, this is a pickled pepper filled with kraut. Yeah. Now, how's that? Mm. That is strong. How do you say strong? He's cheapish. You cheapish? Oh! Cheapish. Upstairs are Hungarian handicrafts and inexpensive stand-up Hungarian-style fast food joints. So this is Hungarian goulash. Soup. So this is not a thick stew, because many Americans would think that this is a, a thick stew. In fact, this is like a clear broth with um, potato and cubes of meat, pork or beef in it. And as you can see, everything seasoned with paprika. Okay, so this is the actual Hungarian goulash. And that is authentic Hungarian goulash soup. But I remember that, but bon appetit. Yo eat vajat. Yo eat vajat. As a contrast to the many trendy restaurant chains, Frankfurt's Klein Markt Hall, that's Little Market Hall, is a delightful old school alternative. The venerable farmer's market was saved from developers by a local outcry and remains a neighborhood favorite. Explore and enjoy the samples. This uh, is anti aging. You have not needed it. I don't need it. No, I don't. Mm. <laughs> Immer Jung. Yeah. This stall is all about German sausages. And amid this carnivore's delight, hides this, the city's classic wiener, the Frankfurter. My best market tip, find the most popular eatery, get local advice, and go for the town's specialty. The city invites exploration. You feel the city's boisterous spirit in its markets. Here at the gritty Ballero Market, you wander among a commotion of stalls, all competing for the buyer's attention. It's an entertaining scene, complete with singing salesmen, each with his own unique style. Sanguinello, sanguinello! Gira scalone a cinco mazzo neuro! Momancio, o momancio! Esce che goccio è nero, fa me caccio per piselli! Vai a casa la mia, non vai a casa, vai a casa! Oh, stasera stiamo un orno ai cinque! Scusi! Vai a casa, vai a casa, vai a casa, vai a casa, vai Whether you understand the lyrics or not, this slice of life market action is some of the best in Europe. Bolito! Bolito magro! And don't just gawk. Adventure in. Try something new. Just like his father did, Pipo sells the odd bits of the cow. It's all boiled from hoof to snout. And I'm picking its nose. Naso de vitello. Naso, bravo, bravo. Bolito! Bolito magro! Prego! Delicioso. So you, you, take, you take a little cow, you cut off his nose, you boil it, sprinkle a little salt, you got a snack. With the help of my local friend, Delphine Prejean, each shop provides an insight into Parisian life. Delphine's planning a dinner party and she's taking us along. Shopping on a street like this is just a delight, isn't it? It's really nice. We are very lucky to be able to, to walk on the street and have all these very different shops, which are very good for Because for in shopping. America, there's one, one stop shopping. We go to one big place. Uh, we have one street shopping here. One street shopping? Is it like <laughs> yes. a market street? It's a market street, it is. I think for the first course, it would be nice to put some shrimps and mayonnaise. Okay. And uh, so you see, you have different types of shrimps. You have like 
different colors, different sizes as well. So we'll, I think we'll go for the moyenne, for the medium ones, which is very flavorful. Now it looks very fresh. So we'll have some meat tonight uh -huh. as a main course. And um, we know the neighbors would butcher. You know, my mom used to come here and... Uh, so you can trust the quality. You can trust the quality, yeah. you know, you know that they give you advice as well. So I'm going to have a roasted buff and uh -huh. I'm going to, have a, to ask the man for, for some tips. Donc pour euh, un rôti de bœuf, ce serait combien de temps euh, au four Au four, euh, 25 minutes. D'accord, très bien. Et combien de kilos pour 6 euh, personnes Pour 6 personnes, avec kilos de fond, plus 6. D'accord, très bien, merci monsieur. So what did he say So he said like 25 minutes. Yeah. And for 6 people, uh, 1,200 grams. 1,200 grams Yes. For 6 For 6. Big people. <laughs> <laughs> So, Rick, a dinner without a cheese course is not complete. <laughs> so we have to go and pick some uh, some cheese uh -huh. before dessert, after main course, uh -huh. and um, we'll have some an assortment of different cheeses. So you create a variety. Yes, I create a small plate with different cheese. Yeah. So we'll have some. Um, this one looks good. Some good cheese uh -huh. and uh, some blue. Yeah. Some camembert Wait. and some hard cheese. Good socially, I think. It is very good because you have more wine. The wine, more cheese, more wine, <laughs> more, more cheese. cheese. So once we know what we are eating, we are going to choose the wine. Okay. So Beautiful job. Yes, it's really nice. Bonjour. 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 We are going to talk with the expert, and we're going to tell him what I'm, I'm going to have for dinner, and he's going to pick the right wines for oh, us. That's good, okay. In France, with so many wines to choose from, expert advice is welcome. He recommends a white for the shrimp, a full-bodied red from the Rhone Valley for the beef, and another white, this time from the Loire Valley, for the cheese plate. It's nice to have the advice for the little, de the little details of the menu. In France, any good meal comes with fresh bread, and that requires a visit to the local boulangerie. So we'll have some bread for dinner. No meal without today's bread. Today's bread? <laughs> yes. No today's fresh, bread. no party. No fresh, no party. So we'll have some uh, baguettes, and uh, we will have some, uh, some uh, special bread as well for the cheese. Oh, so some, a variety of bread with the cheese first. Perfect. And the final touch, flowers for the table. It's very bright and they're going to be beautiful on my table. It's great. 